Well, hello, and thank you so much for being here today. Hey, I just wanted to hang out with you today and do a project that is like a redo. You know, sometimes you have something and you're just not crazy about it, so you need to go back and work on it a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I hope I can inspire you today. Okay. Hey, I, I just wanted to show you what I plan on doing today. I thought I'd share with you. Um, this is a painting that I started a while back. It was a 10 by 10. Um, you know, I don't know. It wasn't doing it for me for some reason, but then I did it on a larger canvas and I actually did a class on this one. Um, uh, and I, this is my favorite, one of my favorite paintings. So I would never sell this one. And, um, I do have it, I do have, I think I have this one on um, Society6, I'm not sure, but I think I do, where you can get um, prints of it, and then also if you wanted a print, I would sell you a print, I, I don't really have prints on my Etsy shop yet, uh, I will eventually, but uh, I love this one, so, and then I also use this one uh, because I love this girl, I used her for this one. And this was, a, I did a video on this one too. This one I did a video on. This one I did a class on. And this one was using those uh, really cool watercolors. Um, the magenta inks, I think they were. And I did this. And I used this girl um, for my cards and, and stuff. A lot of my, um, a lot of my marketing material. So, Today, I thought, well, I'm not going to do it the same, but you can see now in the class, you'll see I burn, I do all kinds of things, and I teach you how to do shading and all kinds, but today, I am going to perk this up, because it's a shame to have this and not have it finished, so, and I wasn't particularly crazy about this wood, it kind of, uh, it was kind of buckled here, it kind of started, this one is such a better wood canvas and I mean you could do the class on any canvas you can do it on a cloth canvas I just happen to do it on this because I wanted to burn uh, into it but I do show you how to get the effect of burning without burning so in that in that class and I'll put the link below to that but today we're going to mess around with this because you know, sometimes you have one that you just put away now this has been put away for a few years and I thought you know, since I really love this face and everything, let me start over again, really. I mean, I do have all this uh, pretty burned medallion kind of things in here, and the sun, and, and the moon here, burnt, not the sun and the moon, the moon and the stars, and I thought, okay, so what am I going to do with it? Am I going to do it in watercolor? Am I going to do it in acrylics? Um... So that's, that's what I'm thinking of right now. What do I want to do? And if I do it in watercolor, I'm going to do it, mix it in with uh, the watercolor gesso to give it a little bit more oomph because, um, like I said, this wood is not the best wood, and I do have like a buckle here, but I'm not going to be selling this. I'll keep this, but I, I just, I need it. You know, when you look at something and you're like, I'm so tired of looking at you not finished. I've got to finish you. So that's what I'm basically doing. And I thought I'd share with you whatever I decide to do today, okay? And it's not like I don't have a million things in here to do. And I just got my crazy signs made for outside. And then I'm working on my medallion. I'm trying to get the place cleaned up for the class on Saturday, next Saturday. So... Um, just a million things and trying to, and then I have a custom painting that I'm going to do and, um, I'm, I'm debating whether to do an, an online course in that one. I'll have to see how that goes because it's going to be on a 24 by 36 canvas and it's going to be, uh, the hippie girl that my lady picked for me to do. So I was thinking of doing an online, uh, class for that one. Um... But I don't know. So, and then I'm sewing. I made myself an apron out of... So oh, you know what? Let me show you that. Hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. So this is some... 
fabric that I had painted, I mean, many years ago, um, gosh, I'm going to say I did this about seven years ago, and intentionally, in, I intended, sorry, I intended to use this for a journal at the time or whatever. So what I did yesterday is I just cut it and made a little apron for myself out of it. Um, and I embroidered my name in here and did some stitching. Nothing nothing fancy. I don't know how to make an apron, even though I do have patterns for aprons. But you think I would take one out and do it, but I didn't. I just wanted to just do, do it and just see how it came out. So I used that uh, material, fabric, whatever, and um, I could paint more on it. You know, I used, um, I think I used acrylic and then mixed it at the time. I don't think I had deco art at that time. I didn't have the fabric paint. So I think there was something you mixed the paint with that you used for the fabric. I can't remember. But then I took, and this is an old, um, what do you call it? Drape that was in the cottage that was crubby and I washed it. So I used that material of it, the drape, I cut it and used it for the backing for this. And then I had you can see it's it's really very rough. I took the, this was on the sides of the drape material. So this was already nice and sewn and it was great for a tie. So, <coughs> excuse me. So what I did is I just uh, put all my grandchildren's names on here. I embroidered them on there. And then um, up here, same thing. I used the ties from that drape. I embroidered my... Um, children's names on here. I haven't really gone through and um, kind of trimmed off all the little wispy threads. And then here I just um, did um, create art every day. Create art every day. It did double because I forgot to put the stop on it. And then Magical Gypsy Cottage on this one here. And some hearts and so that's what I did with this, and hopefully, I was thinking about putting a pocket. I may put a pocket in here, and it was fun, you know. I just kind of put the piece of material next to my body and just kind of flew in the mirror and figured it out. So that's all I did, and then sewed the two together, and um, that's it. But that's I plan on using that for my first class here. So I thought that would be fun to have something new and then something with my name on it and all that jazz. So just thought I'd show you that. Not worthy of its own video, but, you know, just a little bit of information. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to lay down some paper and uh, get started, and th then I'll come right back. i got to figure out what I want to use, what medium I'm going to use here. I really want to keep... I think I used ink in here. I can't even remember. So I have inks, so I may may come back and do inks. Um, you can see some of it's colored already, so I'll have to go over it. But And I think I did some stenciling on here. So, I mean, it, it was going, and then it just fizzled out. So we'll see. I'll be right back. Love you guys. Okay, so I have some acrylic out. I've got some of these uh, inks. Um, and these are acrylic inks by, uh, what is this company, Daler Rowney. And I've used them before. I'm not great at using them, but I've used them. And I am just mixing some white with some Titan Bluff on my brush. And this is acrylic. And I put a bit of an extender in here. Um, make it flow a little more and... Um, I believe that it uh, keeps it from drying so quickly. So that's that's what I'm doing. I'm just getting some filling in the light. sure I'm in frame here. 
Okay, so I'm mixing in a lot of colors. I've got the white, I've got the Titan Bluff, I've got a yellow, I've got uh, burnt sienna, I've got raw umber, I've got blues, I've got pinks and reds and all kinds of, you know, it just takes a while to uh, get the skin tone the way you want it and just play with it, you know, and have fun. Now this sketch I had uh, done, you know, quite a few years ago and I, uh, I don't know how it came, but I love the sun, and you can see there's a bunch of suns on one side, and then there's the moon and the stars on the other. So I love both, but the sun gives me a lot of inspiration, where the moon will give me, calm me down, and I will absorb the energy from it, but it, it doesn't give me that I want to get up and go kind of feeling, where the sun, when the sun is out, and I know a lot of people are like that, or a lot of people like the rain, but when the sun is out, I get that feeling, let's go, I'm ready, I'm inspired, I got to get going. No matter what it is, I, I just want to go do whatever it is that day that I need to do, I'm ready, because the sun is out. When it's raining, I get very tired, and I don't like driving in the rain, I don't like walking in the rain, not much. Once in a while, I can walk in the rain, but not really. Um, it's not something I look forward to, like the sun that I look forward to. And a lot of people are in tuned with both. And a lot of people really get their inspiration when it's raining. And a lot of people get inspiration from the moon and the stars. And and uh, I just get a very calming a f a feeling from the moon and the stars. So you can see, you know, I put the moon on the one side and the, and the sun's on the other. And that's just the way you know I am so here I'm just adding in trying to get those skin tones kind of to match the face on the body and I have no idea at this point what I'm going to do with those suns and moons and um, I don't know if the suns will come out as a sun color you know who knows what but I do know that I have a lot of burned uh, I had done a lot of burning in this so a lot of cool decorative design so I have to figure out what I want to do with that and I find that when I go back into a painting and are rejuvenated for this you know for anything any kind of painting that um, it has a whole different look to it you know it'll it'll come out completely different sometimes than what I originally started so who knows, you know, your, your ideas change and they, and it's okay, you know, what the heck, whatever comes out, comes out and just enjoy it. And, uh, you know, this one is going to be in my studio, in my cottage, she's not going anywhere. And so I'm just going to make her enjoyable for me. So um, that's what I'm going to keep doing here, just keep going. Now I'm doing the eyes, I'm using... A lot of the ink colors too, uh, teal and the blues and the Payne's gray and in those uh, Dale or Rowney uh, inks that I have. Okay, so this is where I am at this point. Uh, I'll take you through the whole process because it took me forever to kind of figure out where I'm going with this. So um, I'm thinking now that I want to do her hair blackish. Who knows? It may be changed, but for now. Um, so I'm going to kind of work it with the brush. You could use a, a pouncer or whatever, but I'm going to kind of made one side, if you can see, darker and one side lighter and I did use the inks and I used acrylics and I'm trying not to make the hair without texture I'm trying to make it with texture so whether it stays dark I don't know I'm not done with her face either yet, but I thought I'd just come back in and 
to show you where I am. My husband was in here visiting too, so. kind of mixed in a little white on this side. Well, it's fun to just mess around sometimes with your brush and do some stuff. Just kind of use it as a dabber. to get a smaller brush I think to do do that section there And I'll just get a different tip so I can go in. I really messed this brush up. I got it way too filled with paint. Come on, black. Okay. okay so I'm just going to keep messing with the hair. And you can see my hand has red paint on it. I didn't even realize it till my husband came in and told me I had red on my nose, red all over my hand. I'm like, oh my goodness, I was so into it that I, ne I didn't even know. So isn't that crazy? So of course, I walked around with the red nose for a while, and but nobody was here until he came, so who cares, right? I was having fun. Okay, so let's let that sit there for a little while. I've got to figure out what I want to do with the rest of it, but I do like the hair. I do like the darker hair, but I've got to finish her face and add, you know, some more detail and stuff and go over a few things. So I will come back. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I'm done for today. I'm like 
Let's see if I can get that under there so you can see. They added a lot of color and a lot of different things, but I'm kind of like at a, and I even took some sandpaper and sanded down some of the areas to kind of lighten it up a little bit. And, but, and I added gold. And I think, you know, for now anyway, I'm done with her. I'm going to put her to the side somewhere. I'm not going to put any finished product like, you know, a glaze or anything, a varnish on it. I'm just going to, you know, let it rest and see what happens. Um, but for now, we've had so many storms, so I had to keep shutting my computer off because we get these electrical storms, and I don't want, le one time we had a fire. Um, because lightning struck one of the trees and then it fell down on the electric uh, power line and we had I think I had pictures on Facebook about it and we were out of electric for two days so I don't like to keep my computer plugged in through an electrical storm so it was a pain today to try to get this you know I wish I would have had more on camera but I did not but uh, you get the idea of what I'm trying to say and do is you know work on things it may take you a couple of tries like I'm still not completely satisfied so I'm gonna leave her and work on her again but I like her better than I did so we're getting there <laughs> well maybe one day I'll be done with this but I hope you enjoyed just hanging with me and getting some ideas and not feeling like you're the only one that has projects that need to be finished and I mean I have quite a few I have so many sketches that I need to do something with I mean it just goes on and on and on um, and then this is the one this is my mostly my favorite and my favorite workshop I had so much fun with this Callie actually named this one I had done sketching this and I showed her and uh, we were doing a video chat and I asked her for the name and she named her so um, it just it's really special so I'll put the link to this down below and at the end I think I did a video a quick video on it like something like that I'll, I'll find it and I'll put that at the end too uh, and you can go to that if you'd like or you can just go straight to the school and it is still up there and I don't think I'll ever take that one down I love it so um, uh, maybe I'll have a new online class. I don't know. I'm going to see how that hippie girl, if I want to do, if I can set up the camera and do it properly, maybe I'll do a workshop on that one uh, online. I think that'll be fun. So I'll see. But I thank you guys for hanging with me today. Love you so much and appreciate you all. And I will see you next time. Okay.